Good morning, everyone. It's Penelope. It is Monday, and I hate Mondays. Blah. You gotta get back to work. I may not make it to work because my car is acting up. So, <laughs> I may or may not make it to work, or I may not make it home from work. I, I don't know what's going on with the car. I'm going to stop at the um, mechanic on the way to work and see what he thinks. If he thinks that I shouldn't drive it and hope that it starts after work, then I'm just going to leave it there and come home. Um, so I may have to take points today. I don't know. I really hate to do that, but you know what? I've got to have a car that runs. Okay, so first of all, let's go with, I did do some changes on my menu um, that you saw that I posted. Instead of stuffed peppers, I decided to do venison stroganoff because I have all of those wonderful mushrooms and I have some sour cream yogurt in the freezer and we can utilize that get that out of the freezer and that's going to leave space for something else so yesterday I made my sausage and my pickled cabbage with my mashed potatoes and it turned out really good except for it was a little too salty for me so I did not put any salt in the mashed potatoes I'm pretty sure that when my husband eats it he's gonna be fine with it because he loves salt um, I cut up my watermelon and I cook down my chicken breasts. Um, so today when I go in, I'm, I'm kind of in a hurry. I'm going to go in, I'm going to make a big salad. I'm going to tear those chicken breasts apart. I'm going to put the chicken meat in one bag. And I'm going to put all of the bones and skin in another. Um, and then I'm going to take a chicken wrap to work with some of this chicken and salad. And just wrap it up. And a little bit of watermelon. That's going to be my lunch today at work. So then tomorrow's prep, I'm going to make a little bit of chicken salad. I'm going to pull out my pulled pork out of the freezer, and I'm going to make my venison stroganoff. So that way we can have stroganoff tomorrow night for dinner. And my lunch, I'm going to probably take um, probably chicken salad, a chicken salad wrap, and an orange or something like that. Um, now Wednesday's prep, I'm going to fry my bacon. And I'm going to do some freezing on some meals and things like that to get that going. What else? So we have our BLTs. We have our venison stroganoff. We have our chicken. We have our smoked sausage. And then we'll eat leftovers and BLTs and things like that the rest of the week. Um, I am going to work on pulling some of the frozen meals that I already have in the freezer out. And put in some of the new meals that we have, like some smoked sausage with potatoes, put that in there, uh, put some of the stroganoff in there in the freezer, so that way we have those, some frozen meals of that. So that's pretty much like my food things. Now for next week's need list, I know that I need my cat litter. Um, I buy natural clay cat litter for, I think it's $4.99 for a 25 pound bag. So that's going to be about $5.34. And that's going to be like half of my budget on cat litter. And I'm going to try not to buy any, <laughs> anything else. I'm trying to see what time. Okay. So we're doing good on time. Um, now I am going to try not to buy any groceries this coming week. Um, there is one deal that I want to do. Like if I can get to the grocery store and actually get it done is I want to get 15 of the, 12, or, let's see, 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15 of the um, Bumblebee tuna pouches. They are $1.25 a piece. Um, there is a $3 off three, which makes them 75 cents a piece. And then I have that Pantene coupon, which is going to give me $2, which is going to, it's going to be great. It will be great. So we're going to see how that works, um, if I can get there. But other than that, I'm not buying anything next week that I don't need. I've went through all my paper products. I went through all my personal care products. Um, the dogs, the dog is fine. The cats are fine, except for the litter. Um, so that is one thing I know that I'm going to need next week on my budget. Okay, so my goals and plans this week are to get my garden finished. I'm going to get the rest of my peppers planted. I have eight jalapeno plants to get in there. Um, and then I need to start some more seeds. Because I guess what I'm going to have to do is work on a fall garden this year. I'm hoping we have an extended season since we had a short 
start. I mean, it was horrible starting out. All my seedlings died except for one or ten. And, you know, so now I've got them going. And so I'm going to start some more seeds. I'm going to get some more stuff planted. I'm also going to start working on my scarecrow this week. Um, I don't know if anyone is up to it or not, but I would love to see scarecrows. If you want to make a scarecrow, I would love to see some scarecrows out there because I'm ready to make mine. Um, I'm also going to work on my veggie drawers this week because I'm going to tell you, my veggie drawers need to be organized and things need to be chopped up, put in baggies, and really put in there nicely. I need to get that done. Um, on a personal note, the car has really just kind of put me back into a loop. Um, on a personal note, I just want to let you know that, you know, I deal with depression. I try to watch all of your videos. I try to respond to everybody. Um, I do want to build this channel, but it's very hard because I work a full-time job. Plus, I do everything on the farm myself, and I have some physical um, problems that make me fatigued and um, and then I'm working with the lack of support and some of the mental verbal and emotional abuse that psychologically just kind of depresses me so I'm kind of working with that I just want everyone to know that you know a lot of us who do YouTube you know we make it look like we're so happy and everything's great but you know what we're living a real life and sometimes our real lives aren't as great as what we show on our videos. So I'm just letting you know that my life isn't all that wonderful and grand and, and everything. Um, I deal with a lot. And I'm just going to say that living with an alcoholic is super, super hard, especially when they're a narcissistic alcoholic. And they just pretty much try to trash you every day. How bad you are how fat you are, how ugly you are, um, how stupid you are, how dumb you are for doing this or that or, or whatever. So the lack of support in that can kind of make life really, really tough. So I try not to sit in front of my computer too much. I try to stay busy and try to do as much as I can on my own. So with that being said, just remember, make a scarecrow, work on your gardens, and get on this bare bones budget because I'm telling you I absolutely love the meals that I'm making this week um, I did cut them back one and then I added something but then I changed something so it's something that you can do and I hope that everybody has a great day I still need to go get my chickens their watermelon and their fresh corn and some more fresh water before I go to work um, I really like to let them have the fresh watermelon but then I like to take all of that out I don't like to leave it for the mess because I did clean out half of their coop today um, while they were outside uh, they were very messy <laughs> so oh my so you all have a great day and just remember I love you all and um, stay strong and keep moving y'all have a great day bye